What's up everyone, my name is Lenny and today I'm bringing you a video about snake's crawl. Snake's crawl is a very useful tactic, snake can get very low and he can avoid a lot of attacks, especially projectiles, but also some forward smashes. So what I did is I went through all the characters in the game and I picked out the moves that I thought he might be able to fit under, tested them out, and here I am to share the results. So anyways, let's get started. Mario's fireballs can be crawled under as long as you space them correctly. The same goes for his water gun, although the water gun can be tilted downward, so just be aware of that. Donkey Kong's Donkey Punch can be avoided entirely if you're crawling close enough to him. If he spaces you a bit, he'll be able to punch you right in the face, so watch out for that. Link's arrows can be avoided at a distance, although he can tap it and get you at a certain spot. His bombs can be crawled under if you're close enough to him. Just remember that they roll pretty far, so don't try to pull this off every time. His boomerang will, will hit you if you're standing too close and if he angles it at you. And his 0% beam can be crawled under completely. His upbeat can be avoided for the most part. Samus's charging beam can be avoided unless it's almost completely charged. The same goes for her missiles, you can just crawl right under them. At certain times, you can actually avoid her grab just by crawling. It's a little inconsistent though. Her forward smash can be avoided as long as she doesn't tilt it downward. All the same applies for Dark Samus since they have basically the same moves and very similar hitboxes. Fox's laser can be crawled under at absolute safety. Same goes for Wolf's and even Falco's. This is a pretty useful approach when fighting against any of the Star Fox characters. Something to note is that Falco's down B can be avoided entirely just by crawling. And his forward tilt can also be avoided as long as he doesn't tilt it downwards. Pikachu's neutral B can be crawled through since it has a, a weird arc-like trajectory. Uh, it just takes a bit of timing, so it may not be the most consistent approach. Same goes for Luigi's fireballs, which are a little bit harder to, to see, in my opinion. You can crawl under them, but honestly it's pretty tricky and you might just end up taking more damage than it's worth. Captain Falcon's forward smash can be avoided entirely if you're crawling. Same goes for his forward tilt, although if he does tilt it downwards, it will hit you. Lucina's shield breaker can be avoided by crawling in front of her. Same goes for Marth's. Dr. Mario's pills work very much like the fireballs, it just depends on the spacing. You can avoid Daisy's side B and most of her turnips if you're at a close enough distance. Same goes for Peach's. Young Link's arrows can be easily avoided, although his boomerang will always smack you. His bombs can be avoided if you're standing close enough to him, and so can his grab at times. Me Too's neutral B will always hit you, so watch out for that. You can avoid the down B by sta standing in front of him and crouching. You can duck under Game & Watch's sausages, but if you get too close, the frying pan will smack you in the face. Pit's arrows can be dodged, but if he curves them downward, they'll always hit you. Same goes for Dark Pit, although I think Dark Pit is a bit easier to dodge, since the arrows tend to travel a bit faster and have less of a curve on them. Samus's gun can be crawled under safely. Unless you get too close, then it will stun you and pick you up. Her grab can be avoided just about entirely. She has to time it and space it perfectly to actually be able to grab you with it while you're crawling. The villagers forward and back air can be avoided if they they seem to be spamming it. You can approach them with it, although a good one might still hit you in the face. Toon Link's arrows can be avoided, his boomerang cannot, and the bombs can also be dodged if you're close enough to them. The great thing about Toon Link is that his grab is absolutely useless while you're crawling. So, that can be a pretty safe approach if you suspect they'll be trying to grab you. 
Rob's laser can be crawled under. And so can King Dedede's spiky balls. Although, they tend to hit you more often than not. Diddy's gun can be dodged by crawling, unless he charges it a bit more, then it will always hit you. His side B can be avoided unless he lands directly on top of you. And the bananas can also be crawled under, although you can still trip on them. Mega Man's jab can be avoided as long as you stay still and don't get too close to him. You can avoid his side B entirely just by staying at a safe distance and crawling. We Fit Trainer's Sun Salutation can be avoided at all charge levels, and so can her up and forward smash. You can avoid Rosalina and Luma's star throw by crawling. And you can avoid Politena's side B as long as you stay at the proper range. You can avoid Robin's neutral B at all charge levels. And you can actually avoid Elfire if you're standing close enough to him, as well as his forward smash. Duck Hunt's Frisbee can be avoided as long as you're at a safe enough distance and it's not about to fall on top of you. Same goes for the can. It all depends on the spacing and the timing that you set up your crawl. None of the bandits can hit you while you're crawling except for this guy that has the shotgun. All of the other ones will shoot above you so you can crawl safely through them. Most of Ryu's jabs will miss you entirely when you're crawling. You can crawl under his Hadouken, but if you're too close it will hit you. You can avoid his forward smash and his focus punch in its entirely. I don't know if that's what it's actually called. You can also avoid his Shoryuken, which won't pick you up surprisingly. Most of Ken's move function the exact same way. You can also avoid the side B, and that goes for both characters. Ken's forward smash won't hurt you either, although his down B will, so watch out for that one. Thankfully, his Shoryuken also fails to pick you up, so you're safe from that. Korn's energy ball will hit you at some of the larger sizes, so be careful if you're trying to avoid those. Her down smash and forward smash will miss you if you're crawling. Except for that worrying part of the blade with her forward smash can still hit you if you get too close. Bayonetta's guns can uh, hit you at a distance but you can avoid them if you crawl. Same goes for her forward smash unless you stand right where the fist will hit and she tilts it downwards you should be able to avoid it completely. You can avoid Inkling's grenades by crawling, same as Ridley's neutral B. You can avoid Simon and Richter's boomerang cross, but only if you're standing still. If you begin to move, it will hit you. King K's cannonball can be avoided along with his forward smash. And Incineroar's arm spin move can be dodged as well as his forward smash. Well that more or less wraps up this video. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get this updated. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, consider supporting my work by subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. And that's all I really got for now, so until next time, catch you guys later. Excuse My me! Is... My name is... Lanny.